The board has full confidence that Miss Starr will bring to the state and its university the best administrators and scholarly qualities be found anywhere in the nation. Our new president was selected by unanimous and, and enthusiastic vote of the Board of Governors. He has had a brilliant career already at the, and at the age of 42 is qualified and prepared to provide the kind of leadership which the Board of Governors, the faculty, alumni, and the people of West Virginia demand need for that university in the important years ahead. The university is extremely fortunate in getting Mr. Elvis Starr of the University of Pittsburgh as its new president. The board searched for over a year before coming up with a man who was satisfactory to the board and who was in a position, as Mr. Starr will be on the 1st of February, to accept the position. He has, in his work at the University of Kentucky, also at the University of Pittsburgh, as well as in his services as executive director of the President's Commission on Education Beyond the High School, been in an excellent position to acquire administrative experience and educational insight which should help him to make the long-range recommendations which are needed at the university. I have every confidence that Mr. Starr will continue to give the unit will give the university the leadership which it needs to continue on its improved program. Since Mr. Starr will not be available to take the position until February 1st, the Board of Governors has designated Dean Clyde Colson of the College of Law as acting president beginning on August 26th, at which time I leave the presidency. During the period between now and August 26th, Mr. Starr Dean Colson and I will be in frequent conference on university policies. Mr. Starr plans to come to Morgantown once a week between now and the 1st of February so that by the time he comes in full time on February 1st, he should be conversant with the university's program and be in a position to recommend its future policies to the board. The Board of Governors of West Virginia University has invited me to the presidency of this institution at a time of great opportunity and great challenge in the whole field of higher education. I'm accepting the presidency of this splendid institution with a deep sense of obligation and with the confidence that the citizens of the entire state are united with the board, the faculty, and the alumni in the determination that West Virginia University shall continue to grow steadily in stature and in service to the state and nation. Under the outstanding leadership of President Irvin Stewart, the, the whole country knows that the quality of teaching and research on the campus and the scope of the university's services to the state at large have dramatically grown since World War II. To the continuation of this upward momentum, I shall dedicate the very best that is in me. I think it appropriate to say that I shall be leaving the University of Pittsburgh with genuine regret. That university has a brilliant future, and it's been a privilege to serve with Chancellor Litchfield and my other colleagues there. In fact, nothing less than the great challenge that is presented here would have led me to ask him to release me. <laughs>